Hello there guys, this is Matthew the Dinosaur King and I am back with another review. Again, I must apologise for not posting in a while, you know, as I am now back at college and I am dealing with my personal problems, I won't be posting as often, okay, so just, just bear that in mind while I try and get through everything, but I thought as I've got some time before college, I will be doing a review today. As I said, it will be on the Collector Gastonia. So I've got some info here. Now Gastonia, which it, which the name means Gaston's Lizard, after its discoverer Rob Gaston, is a genus of notosaurid dinosaur from the early Cretaceous period of North America in the Cedar Mountain Formation. It lived 125 to 126 million years ago. And it was 15 feet long and was one ton in weight and it lived alongside Many other species of dinosaurs, including Utahraptor, the sauropod Sidarosaurus, the Therizinosaurid Falcarius, among a few others. So let's get on with the detail of the model. Now, for a small model, it is very, very nicely detailed, and you've got all these really nice scoots and spikes all over his body, all going down to the tail. As you can see. The coloration as well, I think it look, it reminds me actually of the colour used for the Gastonia in Jurassic Fight Club. Even though a bit more of that been added on. So we've got this like dark, darkish brown colour all the way in the body with these uh, black stripes going all the way down. And the tail is a bit uh, more redder, as you can see, it's a lot it's covered in red. And underneath we've got this nice creamy underside looks very cool and there's the cloaca opening it's always good to see that and you've also got this um, this white and black band on the on the side and the legs here and it's also present on the other side I like that it sort of adds a nice bit of color to it and you've got the little eye there you've got the nostril about there and there's the beak no teeth are present, I can't see any, but the mouth is done, there's a little tongue in there as well. And the ear, I can't really see, but it's probably underneath this big spike here on the head. But yeah, it's a very, very nice little model. Um, I think the feet are correct, it's got five toes at the front and five toes at the back as well. But yeah, it's not, and also some of, now the spikes, um, they're made of like a little rubber of like a little rubbery material, so they're not that sharp, which is good. But you know, you don't want to get caught in these. Believe me. Now, this model does go very well with the Collector Utahraptor. They're at about the same scale to each other, and this is actually an appropriate size as they did live at the same time, and they did also. Um, fight in Jurassic Fight Club with actually neither one of them actually won but the Utahraptor did get some serious damage after one of his legs got caught in the tail and he like moved the tail from side to side cutting very deep into his legs. But yeah these are two very cool models and they go really well together. Very very cool. I'll just pop him there. So yes, it's just a little quick review, but yes, this Gastonia is a very nice addition to the collector range, and um, I hope they do another Ankylosaurid, because I mean, you don't often see Gastonia being made, and I know that um, Batat are also bringing out a Gastonia soon, so maybe these two could go well together, like a little pair. Now, uh, next up for re reviewing will be the Collector Baby T-Rex, the Carnegie Miragaya, and the Schleich Therizinosaurus as well they'll be up and also I'm expecting a package either this week or next week with um, two um, figurines from a certain favorite movie of mine and one of those figures I have already reviewed now I will let you guys um, try and figure out and guess what figures those are, but if you do know, um, you know, leave them below and I will see if I can comment or not. But you, know, you guys have to just wait until that unboxing comes. So uh, please like this video guys, um, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. We've got some great new reviews coming up, so please take care and have a great day. Bye!